In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the 2D flood map tool. This is really helpful if you have results from your 2D or linked simulations, but what you actually need is the flood extent outline in say Google Earth format to use in your reports or flood depth grids from certain time steps in a user friendly format ready for post processing. The tool can process multiple results at once and can even be used if you only have the simulation results files and not the entire model. So to use the 2D flood map tool, initially we're going to go over to the results tab and we're going to click on the 2D flood map tool button and this new window opens. We'll add our results by clicking either add from project, add from file or add from layers. I have several simulations loaded into the simulation section of my project panel. So I'm going to select add from project. And then we can see the relevant simulations are already available for me here, so I can just choose the one that I want. Then we want to check the variables of interest and the time steps of interest. Uh, so let's just click some here. Then we select the output format that we want for our results from this drop down, but this can always be adjusted later. And then when we're happy with all our selections, we'll just click OK and we'll see this has automatically added all of the combinations of our selections to the table. Now we could repeat this again, choosing one of these add buttons at the top and browsing to more results and adding these to the table. We can use these remove buttons to remove any results that we don't want. We can also use remove all to clear the table altogether. We want to choose where our outputs are going to be exported. So by default, this is going to be the same folder as the model results folder. But if we wanted a different folder, we would just click this radial button here to use a custom folder. And then we could click over here to browse to a different folder of our choice. We can make additional changes to the exported file formats if needed. So we could use the drop down here and just choose a different option for single um, outputs. Or we could select various rows, for example, holding down control and selecting multiple rows, rows at once. And we could choose to change all of them using this drop down at the top here. We've also got these options to select all of our rows and deselect all of our rows. An upper limit and lower limit can optionally be defined. Results outside of the specified range will be excluded from the flood maps produced by the tool. And if we're considering hazard data, so that calculate hazard variable, then options are available to define the debris factor method and select the land type use. When we're happy with everything, we simply click export down the bottom here, and this creates all of the files that are within the table. The status will display as complete for everything that's been completed successfully, and these outputs will be saved to the folder that we had specified either in this field or the same folder as the uh, results were in. Thank you for watching this tutorial video on how to use the 2D flood map tool. For further information, please visit www.floodmodeler.com.